Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be talking about one of the very exciting topics nowadays, Web3. We'll be going through what's Web3, how to use it, how it can benefit you and your projects and your businesses. So without any further ado, let's just dive deep into the topic. So guys, we start now with the basics. What's Web3 in the first place? Well, simply speaking here, Web3 is a decentralized internet built on blockchain network that's not owned or controlled by large entities, meaning it's decentralized. Decentralized here means that it has no governing entity, and that's a very huge benefit for Web3. Web3, simply speaking here, also is a third generation of the internet and is currently being built where websites and apps will be able to process information in a smart human-like way through technologies such as artificial intelligence, AI, machine learning, big data, decentralized ledger technologies, DLT, and more and more. So there is a transition between Web3 and Web2 or from Web2 to Web3. And currently, as we speak, we're currently in an era of 2.5. That can be prolongated for a while here because we still need a smooth tra transition into a full Web3 uh, development over here. So Web3 is existing, but it's still in the development stage. It's still functional, of course, and many, many projects, many companies, many services are using Web3 right now, but it still has a lot of room to grow and it still has a lot of potential. So things can take five to 10 years to have a fully, fully developed Web3 and we can rely on it completely. But now we're currently stuck in Web 2.5, meaning that we're still in the transition phase between two Web2 two and Web3. And here you can define Web3 uh, to expand the definition here as an interconnected in a decentralized way decentralized way meaning that the data is not stored in the conventional way or the classic way as web 2 web 2 stores data in a centralized storage but not with web 3 web 3 doesn't store data in centralized storage it's it stores data in a decentralized storages and here furthermore here you can see that users machine will be able to interact with data but for this happening uh, the programs need to understand information both conceptually and contextually here and with the mind that two uh, cornerstones of web 3 and semantic web Web, artificial intelligence technologies meaning that things need some development here for everything or every aspect of web3 to understand and connect with each other so what's the development of web3 the development uh, the evolution of web3 or the development of web3 started back then it started way back from web1 i mean it's kind of a continuation of web1 web1 was the basics was in the 80s and 90s it's just a small group of people generating content for wider audience and then web2 consists of millions of users and that was a massive spike in the internet usage of course 2000 till present now everything you use right now is just a web 2 so it's it's kind of widely known widely used and web 3 now is kind of taking that away and starting to start a new generation or a new revolution in the whole internet usage and as you can see here web 2 is referred as a socially interactive web while web 1 is known as the read only web meaning that only one person is creating content and everyone else is using it or everyone else is reading it it's just a read only but web 2 you can upgrade you can uh, put your effort you can upload your videos you can just you know the, you have the capability of javascript as you can see here and you have the capabilities of uploading your own content but with web 3 that will represent the next step in the internet growth enabling it to be comprehended information in a near human way meaning that it will be a seam a seamless interaction in a very human like manner on web 3 so in other words here uh, web 3 is just uh, impacting to know uh, to, to have a new enhanced decentralized internet environment independent of any kind of central authority that's the major benefit of web3 is it doesn't have any entity controlling the internet or owning that portion of the internet so that will give you a lot of flexibility especially when you're using nfts or d app which is decentralized apps and this will open new opportunities and new horizons uh, for many possibilities in the future so how does it work well the concept 
uh, behind the web 3 is to make the internet search much quicker and simpler and more efficient so that the system may process even complex search queries in no time whatsoever and the user much engaged with the web 2 application front end with connects to the, its back end which runs and interacts with the database the complete so, uh, source code here is maintained on centralized services and sent to consumers via the internet browser that's web 2 but web 3 that's not really uh, the case here because web3 lacks centralized databases that maintain application and information and the centralized web has no that's not going to be the case it will be decentralized remember that word decentralized it's not controlled and it's not stored in a centralized place and the developers design your apps functionality in a smart contract place into the decentralized state machine again decentralized here meaning that the functionality here will be based upon smart contracts you might have heard this uh, term before smart contracts meaning that it's a uh, no human interference here it's a smart contract uh, if certain requirements are met then a contract is executed or an order is executed here so that will allow web3 to have a very flexible way and in a very human like way to interact and execute orders and develop projects and develop further uh, further development over here numerous web3 protocols are highly reliant on bitcoin instead it provides monetary and incentives that's tokens to anyone helps to start control donate or whatever they want to do in the project so web3 tokens are electronically linked and decentralizing the internet as a whole so they are quite a key factor here for the development of web3 and here you can also find that the working of web3 is kind of basic and it's relying on the blockchain technology blockchain technology of course is a major technology and it has been emerging in the last few years and it's taking the whole entire world by storm and of course you will have a lot of benefits using the web3 and you will have a lot of advantages using the web3 but let's talk about the benefits benefits and the importance of uh, web3 and how you can rely on that into having the great features or the great benefits of using web3 if you use web3 here let's go to the benefits of web3 if you use web3 here you will have a better search engine optimization seo will be optimized more if you use the decentralized web or the web3 you'll find here that utilizing a search engine in a natural language is extremely efficient businesses may optimize their search sites for search results highly manageable way and highly organic manner as well instead of using complex keyword strategies so it will be seamless and it will be just very intuitive and very fluid in terms of search engine optimization this will also give you the opportunity to have an improved data operations IDO IDOs here are quite interesting because that will be a result of decentralized information storage this will give access to data under any circumstance give numerous backups to a system in the event of server crash or whatever there are no server crashes in blockchain meaning that the data is decentralized scattered all over the place you will have no downtime whatsoever but of course this will need some development and then you will have the more purpose creator economy here that's quite an interesting topic as I told you in web 2 you can actually put your content but you don't own your content you know big entities own the content but it's not going to be the case with web3 web3 emergence has has held here a bright prospect for all content developers most content producers fight to realize the actual value of their work due to the many routes and intermediates uh, the use or the reach of their audience but here web3 will be just I mean it will facilitate such as tokenizations and will provide significant advantage for authors as well so web3 will be a creator economy and this will also increase reliability of course it will be a very reliable form of the internet it will have less crashes it will have less security issues everything will be more reliable in such a way that the decentralization will result in storing all data on various nodes as a result of course users will not have to bother about canceling a specific account or service outage 
caused by technical issues as i told you here it will be decentralized will be scattered all over the place and things will be very very uh, efficient in the way uh, they're working in a very reliable way and of course democratized collaboration that's DAOs. Uh, DAOs here are decentralized autonomous organizations meaning that it's uh, it's non-human uh, organization of course it's a, based on smart contract and it's powered by it, it that's powering the web3 that will be a revolutionary management structure devoted uh, de that will be also kind of acting as a ceo and and governing factor for how the web3 is working the function here according to a set of codes rule smart contracts enabling infinite number of participants within the next 10 to 15 years and it's anticipated that many conventional businesses will switch to DAOs and you might have heard now that many businesses are already switching to DAO and already relying on the DAOs or the DAO concept to execute their business and shifting to web3 slowly slowly over here and of course it will have transparency and customization this will be also a great benefit of using the web3 so web3 gives you all these advantages and all these promises and all these potential in the future of course it's still in development and of course many possibilities and many opportunities can be opened right now because it's in a very early stage and it's still in development and once it takes off severely things can just go crazy and things can go wild and of course if you're over 20 years old of course you know that in the early 2000s things were starting to take off with web 2 or like the usage of web 2 so now we're kind of seeing a similar approach here with web 3 so i would advise you to have a look at what's going on here and inform yourself more and get more involved in the process because web 3 will be the major 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 dominating factor on the internet it will be the internet internet will be web3 and until then i would highly advise you to check it out and inform yourself more and give get more involved in such a concept and in the projects built on web3 so guys in a summary we talked about web3 what it is how to use it and how to benefit from using web3 so as usual if you like this video hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe button leave any comment you might have in the comment section down below and as usual then next time bye bye